This is exactly what the Khmer Rouge sought to break 40 years ago, the bond of a family. When he was just two years old, Siv Sokowin's family was torn apart. But now, 33 years later, he can look at family photos with his father. You feel another new history of life. It's surprising that, okay, oh God, I can meet my real father. <laughs> Their reunion was seen by millions in Cambodia, all thanks to a television show called It's Not a Dream. The production staff searches for missing family members based on information people send in after watching the show. 2,000 people have sent in applications, hoping for a reunion of their own. Most of the staff was born after the war. When I'm, I'm doing the talk show, I just put myself as their family. I just arrange, I just imagine how they feel, just part of them. So I'm also nervous. <laughs> the show is a runaway success. This is just one of a network of thousands of killing fields with mass graves across Cambodia, where over a million people were executed during the Khmer Rouge regime. Can a reality television program like this help heal the deep emotional scars of that dark period? Some feel that the tearful reunions do help. So all these programs I see will contribute to, to making a better uh, society because in my view, the, the fabric of Cambodian society was broken by the Khmer Rouge. And this show is looking to stitch that fabric back together. We wish to do uh, this work until there's no need for this project in Cambodia. And I also wish that uh, other countries who also experience the wars, like uh, our countries, also can uh, use this type of service. But there is still a need here, as Ear Unite sits nervously in the wings at the taping of the show's 25th episode. She becomes reunion number 29, greeting her sister after 38 years. Her family embraces, while perhaps at the same time bringing a nation a little closer after years of healing. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.